Yo, 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 yo. If you're watching this, uh, I just finished up the workout that you're about to watch with some commentary by yours truly. Uh, it started out doing deadlifts and it was not going too hot. Like, the weight just felt heavy as shit, so I think I need to start giving myself a little bit more time in between heavy deads, which I thought I did. Or maybe it's just I shouldn't do them early in the morning. I got there at like 5.45, 5.55-ish. Stretched, did the Stairmaster for like five minutes. I was like, all right, I'm warm. And then I got under there and started to do deadlifts and it was just heavy. So I got up to 4.05 and only did two sets of three. So that's still my normal weight, but it just felt so much heavier. So then I just moved on to a regular back and lat workout. Did not do arms and planning on doing that later today, maybe after work or tomorrow. Uh, mixing in some biceps, but I really just wanted to target my back and as you'll see in the upcoming exercises There was some pretty good shit in there that you guys are gonna like so with that said uh, It's Friday without further ado. Let's just get into it enjoy People 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 Welcome back to the vlog. This is, I think, my 22nd YouTube video that I've put out, so I'm pretty pleased there with how fast I seem to be releasing them as of late. Um, I can't wait till I hit number 100, that's for sure. That'll be a true accomplishment, but I digress. Let's talk about programming, and in this case, the lack thereof that I'm currently on. Uh, I'm coming in, I know what days I'm working out what body groups, or excuse me, what muscle components, what muscle group, sorry, I can't talk right now, what muscle groups, but as far as programming and incre increasing like weights 10% each time or by this amount, uh, I haven't been doing that. I've been going in there, I'm, if I'm feeling good, I tack on more weight that I know what I can normally rep out and I go from there. But today's workout was inspired by Julian Smith, except for the deadlifts you saw in the beginning. Um, I'm trying to incorporate the strength training as well as the hypertrophy for muscle growth. So I'm doing a hybrid. In the beginning of my workouts, I'm usually doing a heavy compound lift for strength and trying to get the, my, my lifts up as much as possible. I plan on making a goals video next one or the one after that, so we're going to outline everything that I want to achieve in the coming months. But I digress. Again, this workout was inspired by Julian Smith. If you do not follow him on Instagram, I highly recommend it. It's smith.julian. He's a beast, he's massive, and he has great workout advice and great workouts. So this one was his back and traps, lats and traps workout. And the first part you saw there was a wide grip machine row for seated cable row for four sets of eight and then directly going into a close grip. Now I should have grabbed or I could have grabbed the V-bar that's closer together, but instead of just unhooking both of them and putting it on there for the sake of time, I decided just to grip it close here. So you do four sets of eight on the wide grip and then another 10 reps on the close grip. And that whole time, you know, so you repeat that three more times after that. It was killer. And, you know, by the end of that, I was like, damn, I still have an entire workout left. The next thing I called for were pull-ups till failure. I only filmed one set, obviously, but each time I was getting like one or two reps less each time. I think I did 12 here. Don't, don't troll me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not counting right now. But it felt good. I, start, I need to start doing pull-ups again. Uh, for some reason, I stopped not doing them like as often as I should have. I'd come in there I, to the gym and I'd do a few for warm-up, but I wasn't really incorporating them as sets. The next thing it called for were machine rows, and this one I want to point out the time under tension. All these exercises, he wants you to you know, pay attention to the time under tension. So it's the positive part of the rep right there, the contraction, and then the negative, which is I just what I just did. And then there's the resting period, not the resting period, it's called something else, but that's the positive, that's the contraction, that's the negative, and right here is um, whatever it is. So on this one, it called for two seconds up or one second up, contract for two seconds, and then four seconds on the negative. This was insanely hard, as you can tell by my face. And I forgot how much how important it is to incorporate timing into your lifts. And after, you know, kind of doing this and finishing up my workout that day, I was like, wow, like this is gonna be like a solid reminder for what it takes to actually, you know, get in there and grow your muscle. I had a buddy the other day, uh, who I won't name, but we were talking about the vlog and, you know, stuff like that and how I was incorporating more, you know, day in the life stuff, including fitness. And he's like, well, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but how much fitness stuff could there really be? And I, kind of, I didn't even reply to it, but I was like thinking to myself, I was like, honestly, there's so much shit that people don't realize that it takes to have a good body and to grow your muscles and to get stronger that, you know, it's just not for some people, just like, you know, there's 
specific intricacies when you're playing any other sport like baseball or basketball. There's things that people that just participate for fun or to get in there aren't going to understand unless they really put the dedication and time in. But that being said, this exercise was awesome. This was wide grip hyperextensions for your back and safe to say this is going to be a regular in my workouts from now on. I, you can see right here I could barely even walk. I almost fell right there because my back was so shot after it. The last exercise were these Smith Machine Shrugs. I ended it early because I was a terrible angle. So thank you for listening to the voiceover. It's about to end, so I got to go. Please like and subscribe. All right, back from the gym. Murdered the workout. And you know what? I'm thinking we should probably do a full day of eating. So I'm eating relatively clean right now. You know, I meal prep occasionally. We get food uh, delivered to us two days out of the week from work. Um, but I usually get like chicken or tofu with like roasted veggies and either like rice, cauliflower, rice, or like sweet potato. But anyways, before the gym, I mentioned this in a previous clip, I had half of a blueberry muffin quest bar. If you don't know, now you know, this is the best damn flavor ever. Like, no joke. People like the oatmeal raisin, it's good, but nothing, nothing tops the blueberry muffin. So I had that, about to crush a one scoop of protein. In fact, let me show you what kind it is. What up? I always go vanilla, people like chocolate, but vanilla is just so much easier and better in shakes if you need it. Plus you throw a scoop of powdered peanut butter in there and it's, it's heaven. I look forward to that shake every single morning. So I'm gonna drink this protein shake. I'm gonna cook up some eggs. You'll see what I put in them and we'll go from there. Then I'm gonna get ready, go to work. We're gonna have a great day because it's Friday. It's a long ass weekend. Let's see, I've got Friday, today, Saturday, Sunday. They're giving us Monday off and we obviously have Tuesday off. So I've got four days to just chill. I'm not gonna be drinking this weekend. Honestly, I've had past 4th of July's that are great. Well. They sound great, but then they end up just being whatever. Uh, my mom wants me to come up again, like up to Sacramento. I mean, I don't know if I will. That's a lot of traveling, but if she wants to buy my flight, why not, might as well. And if I do go up to Sacramento, then I'm gonna be hitting at Lifetime Fitness, this huge gym that apparently is dope. It has like Olympic stuff, which I did not expect. When I talked to the guy at Gold's Gym where I hurt my shoulder, he was like, yeah, dude, it's awesome. Or my chest, he's like, it's, so, it's super cool. You'll really like it. I was like, really? I thought it would be like a hoity-toity gym. He's like, no, they've got a lot of good stuff. So if I do go up there, we will be working out there and we will be checking out that massive gym. I'm not kidding. It's like the size of an Ikea. Maybe not that big, but it's big. So, all right, I'm going to drink this and cook up some eggs. Voila. There you have it. A little dollop on top, some seasoning, eggs, shrimp, rice underneath, a delicious breakfast, clean, lean, bodybuilding. I might be going up north. Maybe leave tomorrow morning. This is delicious. Put a little hot sauce on it as well. This is Sprout's version of Trader Joe's like green sauce. A little story actually about, I don't mind this, about the Trader Joe's green sauce. Like the day it came out, I was shopping at Trader Joe's. It was like, new product, this. I bought it, was obsessed with it. Had like, went and bought one, crushed it within like three days because you can just like douse it on there. Got like two more. Ate it so much within like one month period of time that I got so sick of it. Like even smelling it made me like gag. It was disgusting. And my roommate loved it too. And I think he still douses in all of, all of his stuff. So I didn't go, I, I didn't eat it for like, I want to say two years because I just couldn't stand it. But then one day I bought it again and I was like, oh, this is actually really good. So that's a little mini story. I stay away from the carb stuff. Like the, they have like bagged french fries now and like tortilla chips and popcorn. I stay away from all that crap. I'd rather have a Quest bar. Or to be honest, there's just like sometimes little pieces of chocolate. Jake shows up this week with a shitload of like those Justin peanut butter cups. Oh my God, man. Dangerous, dangerous. I've had a few. Moderation, remember that. I gotta crush this, I gotta get to work. I'm gonna be late, really late. Sorry bosses, let's have a good day. Peace. Everything costs something, bro. When it's somewhere, somewhere else, you just lost something, no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't an influencer meeting. And I'm working on spreadsheets. So I'm gonna eat this right now. Hi. Right now, I'm going to be calling Madeline from who's one of our who helps me 
manage our affiliates and whatnot. And so we're going to go over strategy for the upcoming quarter, all the upcoming stuff, and kind of just reworking the program a little bit. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money, now I'm acting a fool. Here's everything you need if you want to promote Movement Watches as an affiliate. Like, the, the, like almost leaving them, like, without any questions. Of course, people always have questions, but... And then, like, it drops off to, like, the lower beach. So we were, like, hanging out there thinking it was fine. Lunchtime. Organic rice cauliflower. Brussels sprouts. Ground beef. Yeah. What are you eating? Quest bar? My macros of the day, I'm at about... 500, 600, I skipped breakfast, so <laughs> this is probably about. Are you still doing the intermittent? Yeah, so the first meal was about five minutes ago. What are you doing? What do you got? <sighs> you can have this, man. I don't want it. Dude, it's yours. You already finished your lunch. It's the last one. I got way too much of your All right, I'll eat it after. The rice cauliflower is delicious. Wow, I'm gonna eat that rice cauliflower all the time. It's just like rice, but it's not. It's cauliflower. There's only like 40 calories in what I ate. I'm still hungry. Ooh, I got my little peanut butter cup. When the team takes a two hour field trip to Facebook, they're all gone. Down the street, Facebook. Let's go, Blakey. Free watch. And a Sunny's. Five bucks. Five bucks. Ooh, okay. And then Natalie, of course, was like, there's dessert. We give her <laughs> of course dessert. she's like. Of course. So she goes in there with these tiny little cheesecake bites. Yeah. How many pieces of chocolate did you tell the camera? I, uh, I had a lot. Be honest, honey. Be I, honest. I'm going to be honest because we're going to start prep. Okay. So there's chocolate all over me. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> And then I had three mini donut holes. I know. No, <laughs> this is a this is disaster. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> but I didn't eat breakfast. Okay, we're good. We're good? Everything's good. Because I didn't eat breakfast. I'm actually more mad that you didn't bring mini donut holes. I know. Because those were hard to carry around. They didn't have a good to go back. So focused. Probably deep in Instagram. Emmy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's me. I'm leaving work right now. Two things. I forgot to track two things today and film it for you, so I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna own up to it. I had two of those Justin peanut butter cups, cause freaking Jake bring brought them and they're just delicious, so that's going to the macros. And then I just had a chocolate brownie Quest bar, which was absolutely delicious. That's all, folks. Let's go home and, oh yeah, I bought flights home. So tomorrow my flight is at 5.30 p.m. We're going back to Sacramento, flying in Oakland, doing the same thing as last time. Sunday, gonna drive up to Sac. The only thing I am a little worried about is my mom always has such good food when I'm up there. Chips and guac. The guac isn't bad, but it's the chips and the key lime tarts and the this and that. It's really freaking hot in here too. I'm just kind of bearing it out while I just talk to the camera and uh, haven't turned on the car yet, so I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm out of here, peace. Guess where your boy went? Chipoodle. That's what I'm talking about, that's for dinner. I passed out on the couch for a little bit, took a nap, started editing this video. Uh, so I'm gonna go continue to do that and finish it and, and crush it. Let's go. I bought this pack of dark chocolate morsels and was like, oh, you know, you'll have a few a night, you know, to snack on. No, I'm like eating so many of these. I probably had two and a half servings. So I'm gonna log that. You wanna know what one serving is? It's five grams of fat. Holy shit. Eight carbs and less than one gram of protein. So that's what I'm dealing with. I need to stop eating. So it's 8.24. I'm going to start working on this vlog. Hopefully you have it out by tomorrow night before my flight. That would be the best. But that's all for today's vlog. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, but mainly subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I'm trying to break 100 and I'm at like 92. Peace out.